Hello everyone, this is Justin with ClearPlan. Uh, today I'd like to do a demonstration for you guys. Uh, we're really excited. We got a new release of our, uh, our DRN integration for the advanced alerts. So uh, the emails that you were receiving, um, you know, allowing you the eligibility to go and rescan another vehicle, um, now just got a lot quicker. The front page here of ClearPlan, this is our jobs page. And what you're looking at right here is the the settings for the new the new beta version of DRN Advanced Alerts. So you can see when we go into this job validation page for our Advanced Alerts, we've got two new Advanced Alerts to accept. So again, these are the emails that you would have been receiving, not for your direct historical information, but for the uh, some some users will call them 2.0s, some people will call them uh, rescans, but we refer to these as an advanced alert for your company. So as you can see here, we've got two two new advanced alerts, um, and we we like to list right on the front here how recent the scans were on these two units. So if I come into my advanced alert, what I'm doing here is uh, I, I want to see if this is a job that I want to accept or reject. You'll see that we give the options down here. So there's a little bit of a protocol we like to go through here. Um, we don't want to put information out there that's not valuable to your company. So we want to give the user the power to say, okay, this is something that's valuable for us to run. So once we go into our jobs, you can see I'm going to list the last eight of the VIN right here. We've got the, uh, the make and the model of the vehicle. The years listed below and then we're giving the plate number right here. So we've got the picture below to see if the plate number is accurate. Now when we scroll over the picture we're gonna magnify we're gonna magnify our view there. Um, as we know we've, we've got to kinda of rely on our uh, knowledge of makes and models and body types um, but this is a job that looks like uh, that looks like it's a good scan based on the plate, based on the body type. So <clears throat> this to me looks like a job I would want to accept. But I want to check my satellite view first. I want to make sure maybe it's not in a shopping center or 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 a you know a freeway scan as sometimes they are. Um, it looks like it's uh, it looks like it's in an apartment complex, um, and we've got one scan date here at 4:20 2015. So what I, what I do with every advanced alert I receive, and I recommend this as a step <clears throat> that all the users take, what I want to do is, is copy this plate here, and I want to go into my web repo account to see if I have more scans or even more current scans on this particular plate. On your advanced alerts, I want to search my last 100 records. Um, this used to be a bit of a cumbersome process, but DRN has sped this interface up um, dramatically, so it's worth running a search in here because you can find out if you have more recent scans on your advanced alerts or if you have historical relevance. So if we look here, we had our 420 scan that was populated, but what I like to do is I like to look at my coordinates and see the consistency. We can see three four twos, three four twos all the way down the row here. So what that tells me is that not only is this advanced alert current based on the 420 date, this advanced alert also has you know a good amount of historical relevance. We've got a 413 scan, we've got a 331 scan, a 330 scan, and a 320 scan, we can keep going down the list, but I think the users on the uh, the users here might might understand what I'm talking about as far as is is gauging those those GPS coordinates. So this to me looks like a job that I would I would definitely accept. Um, if I didn't like the scan, or I want to add another address, which is something which is something that we have the ability to do right here. If I have a more current address than I'm receiving on my advanced alert, I want to add that. The reason that information may not be furnished to you is because there's another DRN affiliate in, in a market that has a more recent scan at those particular coordinates. However, you do have access to those if you create a system in which you do look at these when the advanced alerts come through. I highly recommend doing this 
um, for every advance alert that you receive. So if you want, if you find another address or you want to you want to add another location because you find an, an additional uh, an additional GPS coordinate, we give you the ability to add the address right here in this box. You can select whether or not it was a day or night scan based on the information that you're pulling from Web Repo, and you can also add notes as to the scan frequency. In this case, all these scans are at the same location, so this isn't exactly pertinent for this case. I'm going to cancel this case, and if I'd like to add notes here, I have the ability to let my agents in the field know that we have multiple scans on this unit here. I'm going to save and approve this job. I want that in front of my agents. That job is now on my map, on my clear plan map for my agents right now. So as you can see, <clears throat> we move right into my next advanced alert here. It's a very it's a very fast process. So my next advanced alert is already populated for me. Um, if I'm not ready to accept that job, I do have the ability to simply cancel out and come back at a later time and accept it when I have you know the ability to run a search through web repo. So maybe I just want to cancel that job. That job will stay visible for me right here on my jobs page. I'm not going to lose that information. But in the event that you want your agents to be fast on accepting the advanced alerts, it will automatically populate that next job. And as you can see, I'm glad it was fast because this, this scan shows that it was it's one day old. So we're going to go into this job. And for the users, I want to speed this process up just a little bit so that we can understand kind of what the time frame is to get this information in front of our agents. So we're going to come into our advanced alert. We're going to look at the plate. It's an Arizona tag, BAR9213. Scan over it. Definitely is a Scion XB. That's the make and model type. I want to look at that location. Um, based on the satellite view, it looks like it could be a park scan. It also could be a residential scan right in here. So I definitely want to check and see what, what kind of relevance I have at that particular coordinate. I'm going to put that scan into Web Repo. Search my plate with the last 100 records found. And I'm going to see that I've got 422, 41 scans. This 628, I want to see there's a lot of 628 frequency here on 4 on 41, well same location. We've got 33.62807. So I want to look at that. I also have a um, a 331 scan on this, which is which is fairly recent. I'll see that that's uh, that's not our vehicle. That's an Acura. So I want to look over here, and I want to see what my four my 41 scan is. Bar 9213. We don't have a vehicle image. Let me check this one. See if I have a better picture of the unit. That's the Scion again. I want to double check that coordinate with the existing coordinates that I have to see if maybe I have another scan on this unit at a different location. So I want to use my add address feature and let me get those coordinates in there because I want to see I want to see just where that's at and see if I want to add that for my agents. So I can see it's telling me the reason that we use a different icon here is so that is so that your team when they're accepting a job they know that you haven't added this to the job yet that's why we differentiate the icons between one that was auto populated and this one here so let me zoom in on that let's take a let's zoom in and let's see where this is maybe this is a better location for us to map so we've got an apartment complex scan and this is information that wasn't furnished to us by DRN the reason DRN didn't furnish us with this information is because another affiliate in your market has a more recent scan at those particular coordinates. So based on the date and time of the scan, I can manually enter I can manually enter in my scan date. Let me see what which coordinates were here. 628. I manually have the ability to come in here and enter in my scan date. So for me, based on the based on the timestamp of both scans I would want to enter both jobs into the system now we also give you the, the ability even after you've added a secondary DRN run or a second D, secondary DRN location I'm sorry 
we give you the ability to reject it. If you think better of it and you don't want that job, you can still reject it. Also, there will be times, and this is, this is consistent with the emails that you're receiving for DRN right now, that you'll get multiple emails on the same advanced alert with different coordinates. Those will come up on here as well. As long as you're the, the recipient of the most recent scan at all of those coordinates. So in the event that you see three scans here, you may like one or two of them and you may want to reject one or two of them. Um, you can reject one job and approve another so it's very very fast. Um, I like both of these scans. I want my agents to look at both scans so I want to save both scans to my map. Okay so I don't have any more DRN advanced alerts to accept so I'm back to my job validation page and you'll see we've got no jobs listed. Also, when I'm on my primary job page for my direct assignments, you'll notice that our red icon is gone, so that your your, your team knows they don't need to they don't need to look in and accept any more advanced alerts. So let's go let's go take a look at our map. So this map represents the advanced alerts for one of the largest uh, LPR affiliates, one of the largest DRN affiliates in the country. Uh, most users may not have this many advanced alerts on their system but the nice thing about this system <clears throat> is this allows you to put all your advanced alerts on your map along with your other direct assignments and your DRN historical hits as well. Um, the nice thing about the automated process uh, in addition to that is it also will remove your icons as they close with DRN again these will close you know at a very high rate daily between three and seven thousand of these advanced alerts close daily across the country so when these accounts close and they're no longer eligible for recovery be it that another uh, company recovered the unit or uh, the customer paid and it's no longer eligible for recovery they will pull off your clear map in real time and we'll, I'll show you a reporting functionality that'll let you see what was closed either by your office or by the LPR provider in this case by DRN. So if we'd like to do a search just simply by VIN what we can do is uh, we can put in the VIN for uh, let's put in the VIN for the Scion that we just mapped because I want you to see what your users will see in the field. Here's those two scans you've got the 4.1 scan and you've got a 4.22 scan right here. So what your users can do when they get in here and again for existing clear plan users you guys are already aware of the check-in and save the reports and the tabulation abilities from this screen but what they're able to do here is simply you can do a, an icon change which will allow you to customize customize each of these icons sometimes you ha you may have a scan that's so current you may want to prioritize it you know, if the, if the unit's there and you're trying to get a truck there, you may want to confirm it. There's a few different things you can do from this system right here. Um, we're also giving the ability, I'll show you the other, on the other icon right here, we're going to give you the ability to, uh, you see your scan date, it'll save in these notes, and we're giving you the ability to see the pictures of the vehicle. We want the agent to be able to see these and access these pictures as well you know sometimes it'll show where the color was sometimes you may see that it's parked next to a carport pole that really helps your agents narrow down where they're going in a complex or what they should be looking for so the agents in the field will have access to the pictures on these that's the search functionality here so also within the system you have the ability to manage all your accounts or you can simply just manage your advanced alerts if you'd like if we want to take a look at the calendar function and see all the advance alerts that I've processed within the last seven days, you have the ability to do that. This is the last week's worth of advance alerts that have come across. Also, if you want to go back and search in all time and you want to see all the advance alerts you've only put eyes on one time, you can run searches like this. This helps you keep track of the data that you've gone out and accumulated. The users are spending, you know, lots of money, lots of resources, payroll, liability, and everything else. So we want to have a tool out there that lets us, you know, maintain and manage our data as we accumulate it. 